This is John Maine Mercure, the sonneteer from beautiful Chandler, Arizona, the Society of Living Poets. And you're a member, or you should want to be. Your life is a poem. I wrote this sonnet here, and I like the French language. The French say if there's two ways to say a word, pick the most beautiful, the most musical. It is, it, they do that, and that's why French is the most beautiful language on the planet. All women speak French. It's the law. Well, I like this here. Sonnet number 1305. The name of the sonnet? To pass, to cas, to las. And you think, what? what? What did you just say? It's French, and, and it's, that's for you to find out. And they're that way. To be rude is to be French, and I hate that. <laughs> I'm French. And when I say that, hey, you can't be rude to people, but that's what that is, to pass, to cas, to las. I like it. Why? But here's what it means. Everything passes. Everything ends. Everything perishes. Everything dies. Everything lets go. And that's the message. Let go. Let God. The very sting of me. I'm an old man. I'm 77. I never thought I'd make it past 59. That's when I had my heart surgery that didn't work. But here I am, 77. I never thought I'd ever get old. The sting of getting old. You wake up and everything hurts. The days of your sweet youth are no so vibrant. Like yesterday, all those memories, vivid, iridescent memories that I have of, of such a happy life that my Father in Heaven gave me. It's been a blessing. It's been days of William Wordsworth was a great British poet. And he wrote about splendor in the grass in the summer, about the brilliant flowers, about the good times, to be young again. Man, it was so wonderful. I, I, it's so vivid to me. People I loved that we loved so dearly, yet we took them for granted. Unappreciated. We didn't tell them. You know, I, I, I never told you how much I really love you. I'm so sorry. But angels above guided us. They are always nearby with blessings flowing to us. I've been blessed my whole life. How the days of life just vanished. They just vanished quicker than all summer vacations. You're just old all of a sudden. You look in the mirror and you, it, that's me. Yeah, it is. For good or bad, you take what you get. Now those beloved people that I knew so well all around me, everywhere, they're all gone to God's golden pastures. They're gone. They died. Everything passes. We go. We go. I'm an old man, and my life has been so wonderful. I, every day is just, thank you, God, a new life from morning till the sun goes down and, and deep into the night. Thought begins at midnight. That's where thought begins. Everything passes, we go. We're the ones that die. Our precious life, so honeyed with dreams. Everything dies. Everything passes. Everything ends. Everything perishes. We have our obsessive love for our treasured pets. A favorite pony. My daughter had this gorgeous pony, Sundance. He was a beautiful white Welsh pony. Just gorgeous. Tail up in the air and, and so full of spirit and, and, and so lively. He was a great pony. I had a gorgeous cat, Simon. He was purring so much, he'd be up behind my neck on my chair, and he'd be on my arm, and always purring so loud, and he was so beautiful, and he's gone, and it's hard. I have these cuddly puppies in my life, so glad to see me. It's just, and they're all gone. A lovely parakeet singing so beautifully, melodies in my ear of a beautiful bird, a sweet gerbil for my little girls that love so much, lovely tiny guinea pigs. They're all gone away like mirages, like vanishing, melting phantasms, good phantasms. You learn at a very young age how precious every life can be. You learn that, or you should. Some never learn this lesson. They choose to squander their adult wisdom on trifles, on nonsense, blood sand in their body dripping from their fingers, everything wasted. Well, they don't understand. Everything lets go of us. Melting into our solitude, we're alone. It's so scary. 
people can't stand solitude. They don't understand. That's where God is. He walks within the silence. All the mystifying opportunities you had that you scorned are lost into past history. It's all gone. You're old now. And you may be as strong as you may be. You could be as indefatigable, as undefeatable as the Greek god of Atlas. He even had to let go. We must let go. Solomon's wisdom. This too shall pass away. You got to greet the silence when you want to talk with God with profound anticipation, expecting, and awaiting wisdom. That's how it comes. The eloquent epiphany of the gods. The dancing pen. That's how I wrote these things. I've been studying since I was eight years old. This stuff, poetry. And I got it, I think, in honor of Shakespeare, the dancing pen. Through what? Intensive study of my talent. And that's what you do with your talent out there. You have talent. Use it. Use it. Find it. Take an aptitude test. We learn so much within our moments. All we have is the moment. This moment, when I started this sonnet, and now, that's all gone. It's gone. The moment is now. And we got to learn on each moment. Wasting not all of the wonders all around us. We look around us and, and the walls around me. Life is a solitary cell whose walls are mirrors and my walls are gorgeous. I, the, I have a world history walls everywhere. It's so beautiful. It's people that are alive and talking to me. They're, they're, they're around me. Why? Because I believe it. I believe it that they care. Well, I'll tell you what. Sometimes it's, 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 there's too much to see. It's so beautiful to behold the beauty of God's divine artistry. Just looking up at the stars. you got to hold on to your vanishing life because it's over so quick. I'm already 77. you got to grab every sweet drop of life's sweet elixir. you got to exalt life now. Live it now. You are still breathing. you got to achieve righteousness with your life. You've got to do something positive, achieve something, leave something behind to make things better. In that movie, uh, Kingdom of Heaven, Orlando Bloom, he's a blacksmith and up there on the top, he, it says there, who is a man who does not make the world a better place? Exactly. To be righteous, to be a righteous man, to be a righteous woman. It's God's gift. And to make things better, knowing that your beating heart is a miracle, how come it doesn't even take any breaks? No coffee breaks for your heart. It just keeps working day and night. It's your unique soul that's in there. And that's God's gift. Think about this. The Eagle Nebula. I saw that on the internet. It's a stars 7,000 light years away. They're called the Pillars of Creation. It's so far away. The Divine Eagle Towers are five light years wide and 10 light years tall. Those numbers are just unbelievable. That one of those little bumps on one of those towers, our whole solar system would fit in there. It's just seeing all of that. We're all of us Isaac Newton. We're on beaches and we think we know so much and we all, know hardly anything about the sand and the ocean and that vast knowledge in front of us. I mean, all that out there, the nebula 7,000 light years away and it's so big and it's creating new stars and we don't know nothing. We've just been to the moon and we just sent an unmanned vehicle to Mars and we don't know nothing. And a scientist was saying, well, I asked him, I says, hey, how come, how come, professor, how come the people in outer space, the, the, the thousands of planets out there, that they don't talk to us? And he said, well, they don't talk to us because it's the same reason we don't talk to bugs. Exactly. We just, they don't care. They, you know, they, I don't know what something's wrong, but we're alone. And then we're all worried because, oh, uh, life, everything, hey, life is so precious. We're all Isaac Newtons. We are minuscule specks in the cosmos. We're just so tiny. Yet, in God, we do trust. He knows what he's doing. He gives us this moment. And people don't understand the moment. The moment is everything. That's where God is. That's where eternity is. Not past, not present, but now. This instant, and it's gorgeous, and you revel in it, and you dance, and you think, you thank you, God, because someday I'm not going to have any more moments. 
and I hope you have all the moments it's possible to pass, to cast, to last. Well, I got a better one. Et te mec qui vous aime. That means love yourself first, because until you love yourself first, you can't help anybody else. And qui vous aime. Love those who love you. Will you do that for me? Will you do this for this, this teacher, this world history teacher, this American history teacher? Will you please do this for me, American government teacher, civics teacher, guidance counselor? Can you do this for me? Love those who love you. Can you do that? God bless us, everyone. Au revoir, mes amis.